Hi Habs Nation. In today's video, we're going to talk about a big problem that's been stirring up the Habs backstage, check it out now. Check if you are already subscribed here on the channel, so you don't miss any updates we publish here. More than 90% of the fans who watch our videos are still not subscribed, this is very important for our work here on YouTube. Thank you, Habs Nation, let's go to the video. Montreal Canadiens general manager Kent Hughes is entering his second full season at the team's helm. He took over the job halfway through the 2021-22 season, replacing former GM Mark Bergevin. Bergevin was in the last year of his contract, and the Canadians had just gone to the Stanley Cup final, losing to the Tampa Bay Lightning in five games, but then the 2021-22 season started terribly for Montreal. Shea Weber and Carey Price were injured and likely not returning, and the rest of the team was hurt and tired from a long playoff run. Bergevin might have been fired, but his fingerprints are still all over this team today. Hughes is still stuck with some large and long contracts handed to him by the previous management that will hamper him for some time to come. Bergevin was hired as the Canadiens' GM in the summer of 2012. At that point, the team needed a rebuild but instead chose to retool. He had a young core of players like Price, P.K. Subban, Max Pacioretty, and Brendan Gallagher. In the 2012-13 shortened season, his first as GM, the Habs finished first in the division but lost in the playoff quarterfinals to the Ottawa Senators. The following two seasons were 100-point seasons for the team, and they appeared very successful, except they could never make it through the playoffs. Bergevin was well-liked by the fans until the summer of 2016, when he traded fan-favorite Subban for Weber. After the Subban trade, the fan base became divided and cracks started to show in the Bergevin regime. He began in 2012 with a great core but never could build around it. The team was successful on the ice but not in the playoffs as their needs for high-end scoring and a top-line center were never addressed. He was good at trades but his drafting and development were lacking. Bergevin also deeply depended on Price to get the Habs through the season. He built a team with defensemen who played a similar style he did, which was more stay-at-home type defense. He did say, you have players that get you to the playoffs and players that get you through the playoffs, and he was right about that. The problem was that he built a team for the playoffs and not the regular season. If it weren't for COVID, that last cup run never would have happened. If you think that the Habs will overcome Bergevin much faster than you think, already leave a like on the video. Check if you are already subscribed here on the channel so you don't miss any Habs updates. Click now on the video that is appearing on your final screen and check out the great news that rocked this Sunday in Montreal. Until the next video. Go Habs!